Aloha YouTubers and camper vanners. Uh, this is Doug from Big Island Campers. I've done a video on this before. It's when your Max Air fan circuit board fries out. Like that, right there. Um, so all of a sudden it stops working for some reason. And um, I showed you a fix for putting um, a little uh, switch in it uh, you can adjust the, the speed of the fan with that but with just this switch you can't um, adjust the direction of the fan so um, I'm gonna add this switch in which has a lot of screws and electrical connections and it's got on off in both directions so what that is this is what's called a, a double throw um, double pull switch and when you flip it in this direction then the fan will go uh, you know one direction and then you flip it the other way and it changes the um, polarity of the motor and you get uh, get the fan to go the other direction so um, there's a couple couple wires to be attached here on this and a couple to be attached here on this and we're taking this out. Uh, and so I'm gonna show you how to wire this all up. And if you have a switch like this, then here is a preview of the wiring diagram. Here's your fan. Here's the positive and negative wire coming out of the fan. Here's your power source. And we got the power source going to uh, the rheostat. And that's this here. So we got power minus, power plus, motor plus, motor minus. Okay. So when we go to the motor, we're going to go to this switch. And it's going to go to the inner terminals, the, the center terminals on each side of that switch. Doesn't matter left or right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have uh, one of these pulls on this side provide a positive and a negative wire to that side and then we're going to do a jumper that crosses to the other poles and when you switch it it's going to reverse the polarity so here we go power in power to the motor okay that power to the motor is going to these two center poles okay see that and then this is one side that goes to the motor. And then this is another side that goes to the motor. Now, I haven't made the jumper here because I wanted to do that for you uh, to show you how to do that. So um, all I'm going to do is cut this. Cut this wire. And then we're just going to strip it back. Oh, a little bit more than normal. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Because we can't get both of these together. That's, that's going to be too fat to get into. Um, I like to use these little, these little push gadgets, especially when I'm going on to screws. It's just neater. It's easier. And so to get both of these into that little hole, um, it might be a little rough, but if I twist them together, keep it long, make one a little bit longer than the other, it's a little pointy on the end, and you can kind of thread that in there. There we go. Okay, and you can see there, there's the little slot at the bottom. And so you want your pointer part of your crimper on the opposite side so that it otherwise it's it does it doesn't hold it very well and then i like to kind of pinch it again at the end there so that's nice and super tight we're going to put that over to this side i get that okay So 
So, let's take this, plug it into our Max Air fan. Okay. Now, we've got this in the off position. There we go. So we're gonna turn this on. You see a little red LED indicates uh, that it's on. Now, this switch is off. Now, if we go to this direction, it goes one way. If we switch it, whoop, it goes the other way. So. Okay, we got a piece of wood behind this thing. There we go. Get that drilled out. Let's ream that out a little bit. A different drill bit in there. Mm. I'll do it. It almost looks like these holes hmm, were built for this. Let's stick this in here first. Okay, so these threads do not go all the way through. So what I'm gonna do is just um, put a zip tie around this thing, hold it all together as one, because this bigger switch has a nut, a lock nut on it. And with this switch, we'll just put, oops. We'll put this on it. Okay, so I got a zip tie on these and that little button just stays on. It all works good. So I'm gonna put this back up. We'll, um, we'll hook it up, put it all back together and show you the finished product. Okay, so here's your finished product. Um, here's your switch to switch directions. And here's your switch for speed. So, that keeps it... Um, That's a replacement for these Max Air fan circuit boards. This one, you can see, oops, burned up right there. And there was actually some, I don't know how it happened, but it melted part of the plastic on here. So um, I've had to replace several of these circuit boards and I just kind of got sick of it because there's you know the circuit boards are more expensive than um, a complete fan that you can get um, off Amazon and I actually put a different type of fan cheaper fan 130 bucks I think for the whole fan in one of my campers um, and so far the motor hasn't squeaked and it works so um, I'll put the links uh, underneath the video for all the parts and but that's a double pull double throw switch that's how you wire it um, I hope this helps you guys if um, if you're a camper vanner and you want to come to the Big Island of Hawaii and um, um, live in a camper van for a week or so um, contact me at www. 
BigIslandCampers.com. You can check on there for availability and um, see what camper vans I have available uh, for the dates you're looking for. And you can book it right online. So um, share this, hit like, subscribe, and um, I'll have another video coming out. I'm redoing one of my campers and I've got something really cool to show you on, um, on that camper. So, all right. Aloha. Woo.